I visited the Palestinian embassy in Pakistan to express our solidarity with the Palestinian people. I reminded His Excellency the Ambassador of Palestine that in 1942 resolutions were passed. One was for Pakistan and the other was Palestine because the occupation of Palestine had started in 1937. Um, we, uh, on behalf of the Pakistani people, I, we condemn what the brutalities which are happening in Gaza. We condemn the disproportionate, disproportionate reaction which Israel has always done. We condemn the apartheid which, which has stood there for the last 30, 40 years. We condemn the fact that people are being brutalized, people are being killed. In fact, the Al Ahli Hospital in Gaza was demolished and five, more than 500 people died there. I think all this creates much more bitterness. Whatever walls are raised to stop Palestinians from trying to uh, achieve a two-state and peaceful solution, whatever walls are being raised will be breached by people. Israel has forgotten. Pakistan has always condemned all kind of atrocities everywhere. Uh, we believe that the Holocaust happened in Europe. We condemned whatever happened in Europe. But at the same time, I think uh, the Jewish people, the, the Zionists, not the Jewish people, should not forget the fact that the spirit to come back to their lands has always been there and will always be there. So, for a peaceful resolution, War is something which, which is totally against any possibility of peace. The Oslo Accords, the uh, pact which happened in, uh, in uh, Camp David, all these were precursors towards a two-state solution. As long as a two-state solution is being suppressed, people will react. And the disproportionate, disproportionate reaction of Israel is being, I, I will condemn that. For humanitarian uh, devastation which has happened, the killings which are going on, we, uh, Pakistan has taken a position that there should be an immediate ceasefire, that the humanitarian uh, uh, route should be opened up for aid to the people who have been who have been suffering, who are injured, who are lack of who have lack of food, lack of electricity, lack of water. Uh, the visa regimen should be opened up for at least the Pakistani aid to Pakistani aid to go through, and I think. The United Nations should debate the atrocities which has happened, which have happened there. Um, I urge the international community to uh, uh, to condemn whatever has happened. I urge the international community that war is never a solution. I urge the international community that these kind of actions create more possibilities of hatred developing into further wars. I think the humanity should have learned from what happened in Europe over the last hundred years and what's happening in the world and look for peace. Peace is very important. For peace, a two-state solution is what Pakistan stands by. Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan, said that what is acceptable to the Palestinian people will be acceptable to Pakistan. So therefore, Pakistan is strongly urging not a promise only, for a two-state solution, but progress towards a two-state solution. Probably this in, these incidents uh, bring an urgency forward, a greater urgency in, in the humanitarian corridors of, huma of, uh, of the people throughout the world, in all organizations, including OIC, uh, uh, which is deliberating very strongly on this, including OIC and the United Nations. It opens a window again towards peace and less killings or no wars in the future. Thank you very much.